Two and a half years after their first fight, Chad Mendez gets another crack at Jose Aldo and his featherweight championship. Welcome into MMA Live Extra. My name is Todd Grisham. That bout will take place August 2nd at UFC 176 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. And for more on this big bout between the 145 pounders, we welcome in from ESPN.com MMA, Brett Okamoto, one of our esteemed colleagues. Brett, what are your initial thoughts on this showdown? Well, my initial thoughts is that it's completely different from the first time these two fought. And it's completely different because Chad Mendez is completely different. If you go back and you remember what was happening in that division the first time these two fought, Aldo had really cleared out a lot of guys. There weren't a lot of contenders for him to fight. And not to make any excuses for Chad Mendez, but I think he was rushed a little bit into that first fight. He had to go down to Brazil, fight Aldo when he was basically just a wrestler, looking to take guys down and, and hold him down for 15 minutes, or in that case, 25 minutes. That was going to be a tough fight for him. Now, it's completely different. This guy has come along as a mixed martial artist. He is confident on the feet. You look at that confidence with the outstanding footwork that he has now, the combinations, the knockout power, completely different fight. It's night and day from the first one. Well, since that fight, Mendez has won five straight, including four by knockout or TKO. He's one of the most explosive fighters in all the UFC. But will it be enough, his skill set, to beat Jose Aldo? I'll tell you what, man, it could. It could be enough to beat Jose Otto. One thing you always hear about Mendez from his training partners, from his coaches, is that this guy is a very gifted athlete. And when you take a gifted athlete and you add a lot of skills, technique, and confidence to that, that's when you have a special fighter who could beat a guy like Aldo. And stylistically, because Mendez has, has gained so much in his striking, it opens up a whole new world with his takedowns. He no longer has to shoot on Aldo eight, nine times to try and get him down in one round. He can set them up. He can look to hurt him on the feet. And when you do that, and when you get Aldo thinking about other things, you get him off balance, that's when you shoot. That's when you take him down. And Aldo has shown that when he is taken down, he can be held on his back. Guys can win rounds against him. So I think stylistically, Mendez does have a shot in this fight. I, I don't know if I'm going to pick him, but you can b definitely build a case for him, for sure. we got plenty of months to stew over that showdown. Uh, Dwayne Ludwig is leaving Team Alpha Male, one of Chad Mendez's coaches. How do you think that might affect him? Uh, you know, it's tough to say. I, I haven't talked to Chad Mendez since this news was announced very recently, but I got to believe that Ludwig is going to remain a part of Mendez's camp at least a little bit. It's true that Ludwig is leaving Team Alpha Male at the end of this month. He's going to go back to Denver, Colorado. I've spoke to some other Team Alpha Male guys who do plan on keeping Ludwig around in, in the sense that they will travel, they will make that trip from Sacramento to Colorado to work out with Ludwig. One thing you lose when you do that is all the training partners. Team Alpha Male has all those guys in those lower weight classes. They all work well together up in Sacramento. But, you know, Ludwig and Mendez have been working towards an Aldo fight for a long time. They've been preparing for it for a long time. So to see Mendez make that final step without Ludwig, I just don't see it. I think that Ludwig will be involved in some capacity. There's been talk of Aldo moving up to the lightweight division to square off against Anthony Pettis. Uh, of course, Pettis will be now coaching the ultimate fighter against Gilbert Melendez. Still, do you think this is potentially perhaps the final time we see Aldo at featherweight? I thought that the last time. I thought that in, in uh, Newark in February when he fought Ricardo Lamas. Pretty much every fight that Aldo has at 145 could potentially be his last one. He has talked about moving up to 155. So when a fighter talks about it, the media is going to talk about it. The fans are going to talk about it. Uh, I think that it could be the, his last time at 145, but we'll have to see what happens. Because like I said, I've been thinking that for a while now about Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo versus Chad Mendez, too, in August. Brett, we appreciate the time. As the rest of the card for UFC 176 develops, you know, we'll keep you posted right here on ESPN.com. Thanks for watching us here on MMA Live Extra. My name's Todd Grisham. Until next time, keep fighting.